so despite that this well-established scientific reality, your proposed repeal of the Clean Power Plan, EPA assumes for the first time that there are safe levels of deadly fine particle pollution. That's a concern of mine. Do you, did, well, that, did, did, you, did you rely on any new peer-reviewed scientific studies to support reversing EPA's position on fine particle pollution? As you know, Congressman, uh, no, we did not base that upon our withdrawal of the Clean Power Plan is largely based upon the jurisdictional issues of the Clean Air Act. Okay. And so, we have, all so, I have to have is a reason basis to withdraw a rule, a what, U.S. Supreme Court well, stay. Well, that's a point of, I mean, plan. that's obviously a point of, uh, of, of difference in, uh, we, did, in, we did not base in, our withdrawal of the Clean Power Plan upon the issues that you've cited. This uh, Clean Power Plan was part of that mission to make sure that we protect the environment so therefore we can protect the people's health. Uh, and there is no reliance on any scientific studies, whether they were peer-reviewed or non-peer-reviewed, as you just admitted in redrawing this. This was your interpretation of the jurisdictional manner, uh, matter of the EPA, which we have, we, we beg to differ, of course, because we're here to protect the American people's health. Do you believe, uh, therefore, that it was uh, appropriate to reverse the EPA's positions on the deadliness of fine particle pollution? Because there is, there is the, the assumption here that, that, that now we, the EPA is saying that there's a threshold for, for that to happen. We, we did not reverse it, Congressman, and moreover, we are going to be introducing a replacement rule to okay. uh, uh, in be, place Before of my time has expired. Your time has just expired, but be quick. Let me uh, in, uh, submit this unanimous consent to place this 2012 letter from EPA to Chairman Upton into the record, please.